Moon and Aries or the first house. You crave the carnival. Classic rock music, the tilt of world, bright lights, candy apples, gaudy prizes. You will be happiest with a partner who takes you on road trips, takes you dancing, gives you a ticket to Las Vegas for your birthday, cuddles with you after amazing sex, and never whines. Moon and Taurus or the second house. You like collaborating on a meal with your partner than eating by candlelight. You love to give and receive full body massages and oral sex. You will be happiest with a partner who smells good and looks good, brings you roses and calls you baby. Moon and Gemini or the third house. You want your mind blown on a regular basis. You do not want the status quo. You want to live in a tree house with a sexy genius who can tell you they love you in six different languages. You share books with your lovers and help them find magic in the mundane. You will be happiest with the partner who makes you laugh and kicks your ass at Scrabble. Moon and Cancer or the fourth house. You cannot think of anything more romantic than sitting with your lover before a roaring bonfire on a moonlit beach. You crave security. You want to nest with someone reliable and financially stable who will bring you soup and crackers on a tray whenever you're sick. You will be happiest with the partner who loves your family and remembers birthdays and anniversaries. Moon and Leo or the fifth house. You love being in love. You will send your lover amazing love letters and poetry. You love being kissed and praised. You love to laugh and be around witty people. You will be happiest with a partner who is playful and affectionate. Moon in Virgo or the sixth house. You love taking long, candlelit bubble baths and sleeping in the nude with the window open. You cannot tolerate sloppy people who lack manners. You notice flaws in films and books. Nothing delights you more than a witty lover who is able to pick up on nuances and call people out on their bullshit. You will be happiest with the partner who engages you intellectually and talks to you during sex. Moon and Libra, or the seventh house. You love art, creating it, and looking at it, and buying it. Your dream date is an art exhibit followed by dinner in a five-star restaurant. You want to collaborate with your lovers on creative projects, but too much togetherness upsets your equilibrium there are times when you want to be alone with your music and your books. You will be happiest with a partner who is mentally and physically healthy, someone you can show off to family and friends. Moon in Scorpio or the eighth house. You get deep quick. You don't waste time on preliminaries. Life is short and you only want to be around people you can truly know and trust. You immerse yourself in experiences and relationships. You are never lukewarm. You're either blazing hot or icy cold. You will be happiest with a partner who challenges you and restores your faith in humanity. You want total love and devotion with no ambivalence. Moon and Sagittarius or the ninth house. You have a huge lust for life. You want to fly to Costa Rica and swig ayahuasca, then write a book about it and sell the movie rights for a quarter of a million dollars. 
somewhere along the line, someone told you that you couldn't do something and you lived to prove them wrong. You will be happiest with a partner who mystifies you and inspires you to be a rock star. Moon and Capricorn or the 10th house. You can go through dry spells that would destroy lesser mortals. You would rather be alone than stuck in a joyless, mediocre relationship. You are sure of who you are and prefer being around people who are equally confident with strong morals and boundaries. You will be happiest with a partner who satisfies you sexually, but doesn't cling to you. Moon in Aquarius or the 11th house. You wave your freak flag high. You are exactly who you are and expect people to accept you. You don't try to tone it down to make people more comfortable. You love intelligent, open-minded people who read books and ask questions. Good luck to anyone who ever tries to put you in a box. You defy category. You will be happiest with a partner who is comfortable with themselves and makes you laugh your ass off. Moon in Pisces or the 12th house. You feel like life is one long dream and keep wondering when you'll wake up. You are endlessly delighted and dismayed. You see the best and worst in people. You tend to put people on pedestals, then knock them down into the mud. You'll know it's true love when you put someone on a pedestal and keep them there. You will be happiest with a partner who tells you, but baby, there's no such thing as the pedestal. The pedestal does not exist. <laughs>